I'm very excited and really so thrilled about this home rule thing, and I want to really, really thank you and congratulate you and ourselves. Well, I just, the first one I called was y'all. <laughs> I told Al Friendly, I think called him at the press gallery, but uh, uh, well, we've made a real start, and uh, we're keeping the pledge that uh, Madison made many years ago that the District of Columbia could govern itself and have its own uh, representatives, and I, uh, we, we got to work on the bill a little bit. I got Horsky doing it because I got a bunch of them to sign the petition. They won't vote for the bill unless we have a little protection on how they appraise government buildings. They have prayed that, you know, their local communities, they, people like Martha Griffiths of Michigan and John Dengel of Michigan, great liberal Democrats, but they wouldn't go with us. And I had to get right Patman and folks like that from Texas sign up. Uh, on the ground that the, the council can transfer all the appraisals of property to the government buildings and make them carry the load instead of the homeowners and the business and so forth. So we got to put some provision in that'll give Congress a, a review of it if it's excessive or, you know. Can we, however, get the federal payment put on a, on a formula, Mr. President, to sort of enforce it? Well, I told Dick Goodwin just to go and get a hold of a Charlie Horsky. And then let them take the the things that they think that we ought to line on and see if we couldn't take the initiative before they did. They've reported their bill first, giving it back to Maryland, and we got to kill that one first, and then we got to get an amendment that our people can live with cats and back and horsekin them and uh, and beat them to it uh, so that uh, they can't make these arguments against it, and then we'll get the majority vote. But we got a tough round, and we're over the biggest hurdle, the first time it's ever been considered. Yep. It is so exciting because, honestly, Phil and I used to go to little meetings about how to get home rule 20, over 20 years ago, you know, and all of us have worked here in the district. You know, I know you've seen it from the congressional side, but, it's, you know, it just is so important for this town to get some sense of responsibility and some government of its own that I can't tell you how to I am. You're very sweet, and I appreciate and it. And Al was very, very helpful every time we talked to him. Well, I know that you've been drawing to him, and I hope we've been doing everything. He has. Everything we He's been 101. 101 percent. 101 percent. If ever we do anything that doesn't no. you just... Oh, it was, you know, it was very, well, very... not everything we can do, because I realize all the problems aren't settled now. You know, they're just beginning. But we just got to make this beginning, don't we? We have, and we've got it, and it's going. And uh, I, I'm, I, I just dictated a little statement and said we've got an Emancipation Proclamation of the District of Columbia. And this Congress will be remembered as a Congress that gave the nation's capital their freedom and their liberty. <laughs> well, Mr. President, I think it was so terrific with you with all that major legislation to be willing to do this on top. I told uh, in the, my statement I dictated that I came here uh, 35 years ago. And I was a little boy, and I brought my bride here a few years later, and my children were born here, and they were educated here, and we spent our life here. And uh, uh, we, this is just a small payment in kind for all the districts done for us, and given us, what their citizenships meant to us, and I'm going to see it through if I live. Well, I'm really thrilled, and anything we can do to help you in any way, we sort of want to do. Thank you, Keith. Bye.